I guess somewhere down here. Still needs work. What we've got here is we've got the background globe, which could be animated, and then we've experimented with putting actors on top of the globe. So there's the actors by themselves. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a recap of Composing in Multiple Dimensions, Part 14, Three Birds. So to kind of jump in today we had taken some pictures on the bayou as we do and we uh, edited and cropped these three pictures of the same bird left straight and right and it was kind of fun because we kind of get this hmm, hmm, kind of a cheap animation effect hey look who oh, hey who oh, hey ho oh, oh. and um this was in the idea of threes, since we had three things. And we also, that was related to us thinking about trioral versus tetraoral. And so you've, in here you've seen in the, in the animation that we're using um, three things instead of four. And in order to get that, we had to go back to our score which originally had um, two separate cadence lines, one for the C26 scale, and then the, a separate line for the E-flat uh, 1322. But in order to get one MIDI file driven out of it, we had to add this whole new line where we just merged everything, which is fine. The other thing we did with that was... Um, in our Reaper file, which we just, we, we took the backbone, the polyphon, and the cadence, and we down mixed them, turned them into separate monotonic tracks, and then we applied um, our favorite stereo effects. So this was the rear left, rear right, and top center. And then we took all of that, and we basically completely redid our, our animations that we've been working on. So here's all the source files that came out of the Muse score program, in other words, this program, and then going up and then back down. Here's all the files that came with the right, uh, rear left, rear right um, effect like that. And then just to make it fun, we added what's called a pan track here and panned all the way from the left all the way to the right. So we actually made the thing started out like rear left and rear right, and they and the, and the third part was front center, and we left the front center alone, and then we took these things, and then we slowly panned them so that they crossed in front of each other, orally, and then took each other's place. Now the effect is so subtle, we we could we could hear it, we could hear it, but the. The average listener is not going to hear it. We now know because we've experimented twice getting feedback from people. Unless you give them a visual cue, like something going, they're not going to, there is, their, their, their brain is not going to fill in the gaps, which is cool. It's like we're learning a lot from this. So, so we did all that. And what we're going to do is we're going to play the uh, the updated version, which has dynamics. We change the dynamics, uh, which we know is the number one most one of the most dramatic things you can do to have a perceived change. Never mind whether it's left or right. And the second thing you can do is to speed the tempo up or slow it down. Well, so far everything is the same tempo. Uh, but we have lengthened this by adding a few repeats. So we're going to play this for you, and then that will bring, bring us home. And here we go.
Alrighty. So uh, that concludes today's stream. We have a shout outs to Jesus2419, who gave us some good feedback. <laughs> and then uh, Mr. Spatz showed up again today, so we, we like that. Our ideas for next time are to keep listening and watching and, and continue sharing this with people. We also shared that composition was the, the, the animation we did the last time. And um, it was interesting. Uh, they could tell that there were four parts, but not five. And they could not hear, they didn't know, without prompting or asking, they said it's pulsing. So we might want to, we wanna, might want to um, add back. Add back pulsing to the star fields because it was it was kind of intriguing. On the other hand, we basically erased everything we did and restarted in terms of the animation. So that takes us to saying come back to our next stream. Thank you for your time, attention, curiosity, and interest. I want to give the shout out shout outs to Jesus. And take care, have a good holiday, and keep on streaming.